All right, the last time we did this split throttle thing, I did it with the F-14B and everybody was like, oh, you gotta do it with the A. Well, here we are. We're gonna do it with the A, with the F-14A Tomcat. Uh, we're gonna be fighting the F-18 Super Hornet off in the distance there. Now, many of you know the uh, F-14A, uh, a little bit weaker engines, much more prone to compressor stalls. So we are gonna have to be careful if we're gonna split throttles here because uh, we don't want to get into a flat spin. Into the one circle turn here. Extremely difficult fight for the Tomcat here. We're going to have to get out of the... Yeah, Hornet's going to beat me in the first turn. Yep, as expected. And he's basically taking my 6 o'clock here, but he's below me. I'm going to split throttle here, pulling the left AB. That's afterburner. And the differential thrust is rolling me. We might have a gunshot opportunity here. He is lucky to be alive after that. Okay, we got some adverse roll. We're going to pull left AB, and that's going to fix that roll for me. That's a huge benefit of the differential thrust. Actually, one of the biggest things I've noticed about the differential thrust, there's the compressor stall we were talking about. So we're going to pull both of the engines to idle. And I'm going to slowly feed them back in. And there we go. Compressor stall has gone away. But the differential thrust, as I was saying there, one of the biggest advantages it has is it helps control the roll for the F-14. actually hit him there. He crossed my nose and got shot for it. And he does not look good. Is he, is he going down? Yeah, he's not pulling out of that. Wow. Splash one. Wow. I'm actually very surprised by the performance of the F-14 uh, with this whole differential thrust thing. To me, it seemed like it was super dangerous and not worth the risk. But if you're conservative with it and, you know, you use it in the right moments, it can actually be tremendously beneficial for the F-14. Once again, into the one circle turn. One of the biggest issues with the F-14 was always when you got slow, she would almost roll the opposite way on you every time. And the differential thrust really helps to negate that. It's huge. We're going to have to jink his nose here as it comes down. Yeah, good. And roll on top of him with differential thrust. Okay, now it's possibly my turn to get a gunshot here. Oof, managed to stay out of my nose. Possibility of another gunshot. Wow. Lucky to have not got shot there. Like, pretty good performance out of the F-14 against the Super Hornet when he used the differential thrust. Uh, actually, very, very good. I have, I am kind of offensive here. Well, I was. And once again, we are using differential thrust in the roller. I have left AB out. And guys, remember, we're not pulling that left engine to idle. That'll cause a flat spin issue. Look at this. There we go. Just pulled it a little there. You don't want to go to idle on the left AB when you're pulling that engine. You just want to come out of afterburner. You know, leave it in mill power. Very, very tight one circle we got going on here. A hell of a one circle fight. <laughs> wow, he's lucky to have not got shot there. I thought it was going to be like the last round. Look at this. F-14 doing really, really well here. 
And it turns out Maverick was right. Splitting the throttles is actually a huge advantage in the F-14. Um, I can't confirm if any real guys did it. I've heard stories. But I would imagine you had to be a very seasoned F-14 pilot to be trying this kind of thing. Because it's extremely dangerous. He's on my 6 now. We're going to Cobra. <laughs> yeah, Cobra the F-14. And... I actually survived for a few extra seconds, but I'm slow, and you're gonna see why Cobras are bad ideas. Right here, when he kills me, yeah, great, he killed me. <laughs> oh my, yo, he hit me. <laughs> he had a mid-air collision with me, he just killed himself at the same time. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> Uh, I forgot to kind of talk about the rules of this engagement between both aircraft. You can use guns. We both have four missiles. They can use sidewinders, whatever uh, one wants to use here is okay. There's no rules on that kind of stuff. Uh, this is why you see me doing the one circle turn every time. I'm just trying to make sure I'm close to him so that he can't whip that hornet nose around and take a Fox 2 shot at me. So once again, we're entering that one circle turn. Now to jam the WES, it is to uh, jam the weapon employment zone, the WES, and uh, basically the idea there is that you're going to min-range the missiles here. I'm going to just climb and see what we can get out of this Hornet, because he looks pretty slow to me, which is something I might be able to exploit here. Yeah, look at him, he's falling out of the sky. And we're going to use differential thrust to roll the aircraft over and hopefully we can get a gunshot or something off here. That would be very nice. This is some old World War II tactics here. Fox 2, it's way too close though. We're gonna go to guns. Come on, guns. Yes. <laughs> wow. Alright, Splash Hornet. Let's try to do that one circle into the vertical thing with him again, see if we can drag him up. Because uh, I see a lot of potential to use differential thrust in that situation. Uh, and I think it'll be a big advantage to me uh, relative to him, especially if we can get him slow and into like, you know, rollers and flat scissors and stuff. I think the differential thrust will be huge in those situations. Um, so once again, we're going to push for that one circle, try to jam that Wes, and see if we can get him to climb with us. Now you do have to be careful because if he's too slow and he gets on your 6, then uh, he's going to be able to take a Fox 2 shot. So and he seems happy to be here. He wants revenge from last round. He wants to see if he can redeem himself. I came in pretty fast too because I knew I was going to do this. pretty happy with our climb rate versus him once again he's getting too slow see this is the difference i knew i was going to do this so i came in really quick really fast and it makes me wonder if he didn't come in as fast because he's falling out of the sky every time because he's coming in slow he wants to make a min radius turn he's trying to fight that one circle fight the hornet loves
differential thrust there to roll over on top of him. And he's purely defensive once again. He's in a bad situation. And easy gun kill because he's so slow too. <laughs> differential thrust, man. It's uh, quite the surprise if I'm being honest. Like I said, I didn't think it could be this effective. But it does make a massive, massive difference in the performance of the F-14. Uh, I think you can really push it to new levels. So definitely give it a try, guys. Worth mastering. It's a skill worth mastering if you're into the F-14.